Previously, I've referred to Final Fantasy Adventure as an action RPG for beginners. While that's true, it still posed some challenge and required some strategy, much unlike this game, which is often criticized for lacking substance. However, I feel we should take a look at it for what it is. Final Fantasy Mystic Quest is an interesting case study. Other reviewers on YouTube have given a fully fleshed out explanation on how this game came to be, but for those of you who haven't seen those videos or just want to hear my take on it and how the story goes, up until this game was released, the niche for RPG games was pretty small here in the US. In fact, in order to move copies of Dragon Warrior, they gave it away with Nintendo Power subscriptions, and for Final Fantasy, they published an in-depth strategy guide which Nintendo Power also gave away to subscribers. Seems to me the line of thinking with Square was that these games perhaps were just too deep and possibly too difficult for the American buying public, which I find kind of amusing since it was American programmers who came up with Wizardry and Ultima, which actually inspired Final Fantasy and Dragon Warrior in the first place. However, Square did put out Final Fantasy Mystic Quest and flat out advertised it as an entry-level RPG. Which is all well and good, however, the way they went about making it entry-level really dumbed down the things that make an RPG compelling and interesting. Hit points were replaced by life bars, equipping armor was done automatically for you, you could set NPC party members to auto so they will heal you and break status effects whenever you get yourself into trouble, and every last one of those characters is way more skilled than you and can easily carry your sorry behind through the whole game. What little story there is, is not at all complex. A big bad guy steals these crystals which control the elements, and you meet many party members along the way and take on monsters and explore caves and castles and dungeons. As you play your way through, it's easy to amass items that help you along your way, and you amass a whole lot of them. The monsters are your typical RPG fare inspired by mythology and such. There's this one boss late in the game called Pazuzu. Yeah, Pazuzu. Like an Exorcist 2, just without the raging boner that he's usually depicted with. Each enemy has a weakness, a spell, a weapon attack that's more effective than others. Despite that slight resemblance to strategy, pretty much all the combat is limited to pressing the A button over and over again. As you can imagine, a lot of people thoroughly dislike this game because it is so dumbed down. I feel that the game does have some charm to it, and while it might not be some epic piece of gaming like the main Final Fantasy series, what you really have is an RPG that's perfect for the casual gamer. There's no need to grind, and there's no getting lost in dungeons or forests, and there's no hunting to find some save point. You can pick up the game with ease, and make progress with just as much ease. This game is also a mere fraction of the length of most RPG games you'll find. It can be finished in under 15 hours, meaning that even a casual player can get through this in a timely manner. When I first started playing, I really didn't think much of it at all. I was putting in a little bit of time every couple days, and by the time I got halfway through, I really regretted not recording my playthrough from the beginning for this review. Despite the stigma of this being a game that was dumbed down and targeted at beginners, even when it was brand new and just released, I wanted to check this out. It took me over 22 years to do so, but I finally did, and I quite liked it. It's not your typical epic RPG quest, but for those who don't have the time to commit to such a thing, that's not a bad idea. So, if you're feeling lazy, if you're not feeling like playing the big 55 to 100 hour RPG quest, Hey, why not give this a look? Hope you've enjoyed this review. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.